Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues in which right now we gotta talk about the Brahmin Barons. Even after crushing the rebels in the NCR, the Brahmin Barons' wealth and power gives them a stranglehold in Northern California, some suggest. We spend men and laser guns to break apart their power, while others suggest we cement their position in the reunited states at great cost for popularity. Some wonder if there's a third option out there. Too bad we can't give them to Kaiser. Well, who wanted stability, right? Who needed stability? So. Uh, we're finishing up the Voting Rights Act. I know from the end of the last episode, I already read this one. So if you want to read this one, please go ahead. Because we'll do this one next. And then we're going to jump down to the FBI. Because we really, really need to. And I'll be honest here. This is like my second or third attempt doing this. Just because of a certain legion that might want to strike us down. So, I've been experimenting with uh, basically what we're going to do in this episode. Um, right now, honestly, like... The resistance is really bad. It's really, really bad right now. So, and because, spoiler alert, the Legion wants our territory already. Um, very soon, actually, within the first, I don't know, first few minutes of this episode. Um, I've already set up our soldiers to, you know, leave the area down here because it's really bad. It's 91% there. Also, I did get rid of the generals for now, and that I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Uh, ooh, I did not set you, you guys up. Let's go set you guys up here as well, just because I, I already kind of know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah. yeah, just just in case, just in case. There you go. Y'all have orders. Y'all move as fast as you possibly can. And we're going to go and grab some of, not that yet. I want to get more, let's grab that one first. Cool. But a couple comments. Someone says we can pop it in Mexico. Apparently it's in the tree down here. Maybe oppose Mexican Titans, maybe, perhaps? And we get the Mexican... Uh, reclamation government in, ba in Baja, California. So that'd be kind of cool to get. I think that'd be really good to get, actually. So, yep, there's that. Uh, let's see. Someone, and you guys overall recommended between quality and quantity that you guys chose quality. It's always good to have quality materials, even though both actually hurt your recruitable population manpower, and even though we need way more of uh, more, just more units right now because we're not looking very good. But a Supreme Court injustice. Mr. President, archive historians have found records which prove conclusively that our ghoul Supreme Court Justice was actually a traffic court judge. Something we should get rid of him, but we have to admit, Robin convoys never flow sm so smoothly. I guess we should have given a job to everyone who walked through in the door. Or, he's still better than the guy from Vault City. We already don't have stability, so let's do that one. We already don't have it, so what's the point? Um, honestly, like, yeah, the resistance is so bad. So, I'm actually going to be using the resistance as sort of a, a deterrent against the Legion, so... You know, we actually have a lot of stability, uh, compliance already. Is this, this is still picking up? Actually, this, this is kind of middling. It's actually going up now, okay. It's going up again. Um, that's not good. Actually, for now, just go and do this as well. We can help get done on um, a lot of resistance, resistance here. So, as you can see, a lot of these, because I'm going to use this as a deterrent, half, actually probably a little bit more than half of all the territories in California are now under no occupation because we literally don't have the guns for it. We have 90,000 manpower, which is fine. We just don't have the guns for it, so... Um, and I'd rather get Northern California fixed first than Southern California, just because it's closer to our core territories. So, it is what it is, and we've got Raiders. So, kind of sucks. And that's why I made sure that, well, one of the reasons why I'm, oh, look at this. These guys are killing the Ouroboros. Um, got rid of the generals, because they will kill your generals. Like, like I said, this is my second or third attempt doing this. So, um, that looked really bad for Ouroboros. And Henta del Sol. But, yeah, they will literally kill your generals, so that's why I told don't want any generals right now. And you have to go new citizens care package. You got to. You have to. And we got to go with Vice President Hayes. Make concessions to your new world party and make Hayes your vice president. Hayes, for all of his criticisms of the enclave excesses, as a firm believer that America is the world's last best hope. By putting Hayes as vice president, we will confirm that our faith in the government in the, or the great experiment, and that a government for the people, by the people, and of the people, shall not perish from this earth. God bless America. Actually, which we got no more stability, but whatever. Uh, we do have to get out of this as fast as possible. This is just really bad, as well as this one. Collapse economy. To do this, we need to revive the, the Fed, I think. Is it the Fed, I think, that we need to get rid of? Or start? Something like that. But let's talk about the Federal Bureau of Investigations first. Much like the California Rangers, the Federal Bureau of Investigations will be tasked with hunting down the meanest, toughest criminals of the wastelands, or the wastes. And we'll make sure they're all brought to justice. So we get rid of underfunded justice system, which actually gets... For us right now, we'll replace anarchy so we don't lose as much weekly stability. We'd still be losing weekly stability, but still. And get more daily political power. Uh, get some stability. Just a lot of good stuff, so. Yeah, this campaign's not super easy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Oh, we got rid of new citizens' care package already? Holy crap, that's not good. That is definitely 100% not ideal. But now we're only losing 0.3 stability every week. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? Compliance-wise, we're looking actually not too bad in some areas. Resistance-wise, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. Minus 23,000. It's actually getting slightly worse right now. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's getting worse. Hmm. So there's really nothing we can do. I mean, I guess the Brahmin Barons establish order. So we need to have... Complete the focus of Federal Bureau of Investigations, which we're doing, and the Voting Rights Act. So we can actually get that one done before everything else. So let's grab some of this. And let's grab some of this. Infantry Defense, because, well, we do have quite a few infantry divisions here. So, not too bad. I could delete them to save some on guns. But that's not really worth it right now. Not really. So after this one, we're going to do the free elections. Behold, the reunited states are holding the first free elections in over 200 years. Of course, only eligible citizens of America can vote. Which would be good to get rid of unstable government. Um, honestly, we need to get to... Actually, peacekeeping is really good, actually. Once we can get to 20% stability, we'll be fine with stability because we get plus 1% every single week. So, yeah, that'd be really good to get rid of. Other comments include... Um, yep. And then the next time I play the Enclave, whether I do the Nevada one or the Purist route, just recommend me names for when we get there because some of you guys still come up with some good names, so... If you like to read about uncivil civilian unrest, please go ahead. I'd rather lower resistance. I don't care about compliance. Get rid of that resistance, though. My gosh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's still going up, too. But the amount of guns we need is kind of fluctuating. It's kind of going down. It sometimes goes back up and went back up. And it's going to go back down, so. This part of California, I'm most worried I, we, we need. As long as we have this area covered, we'll be okay. I'm pretty fairly certain we'll be okay, because once the Legion steps through here, it's going to be... Hellacious. We'll put it like that. So once that one is done now... Actually, we have 7% stability. Not bad. We could do a Nation Reborn, which would remove the Emergency Labor Draft, even though we don't... I never take that one. I pretty much never take that one. Requisition Resources. Don't really need that one either. And as you can see, I'm, right now, I'm trying to get more resources, because right now, oh, it's so bad. We All, all we have are 10 Circuitry. Which, don't get me wrong, I like Circuitry, but... Not very good right now. Ah! But, Economic Resurgence, great news. Actually... Um, we still don't have it back. That's fine. Whatever. We'll do revive the Federal Reserve. The United States is strong enough to pursue something unheard of since the Great War. A monetary policy, which we get more stability, which we absolutely need. Get more political power. Get the new economic policy. So this way we can go ahead and get rid of this. Because we need... <laughs> we need consumer goods so we can build some civilian power grids. So we can actually, um, core stuff. All this stuff has got to get cored first. And I'll save Sac City for first. Why not? Sac City can have a little bit of love. And we are on worthless wages. That's so bad. At least it doesn't hurt our defense. It hurts our organization. That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> and we're trying to get the New World Party going. Uh, people Party. Intellectuals. Elites. Yeah, not elites this time. Uh, we'll probably go with Orion. Marino. But actually it does give us more stability. But I think we'll go with Archdornan first. Because it gives us a, a flat 10%. Which actually be pretty useful right now. So I'll go with him. 17% is not bad. Not too bad. We got plenty of convoys and a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. Oh. You have to take that one. Brahmin barons and Vault City restrict suffrage. As it turns out to some Americans, democracy is negotiable. Vault City and parts of Northern California are trying to restrict the right to vote to long longtime inhabitants or requiring arcane citizenship tests. Their hope is to control who their districts send to Congress and keep the unwashed masses from having a say. You are all terrible people. Let me explain why that's illegal. Let me explain why. Cool. All we need is... Get Oh, there we go. And here we go. So the Vol Volpus' Legion demands territory. We will deal with this. That's not good, as we all know. Let's go ahead and do this one, too. We could do a Nation Reborn, but we can wait. We need to do this one, and then we got to do Hearts and Minds. But now, we can get to this one. It gets more weekly stability. This one we could get rid of, but let's get this one first, because we really need weekly stability. So we'll get 30% more mobilization speed. We will also get 15% more attack. We'll get 1% more recruitable population, which we don't really need anymore. But the weekly stability is king right now. It, it's absolutely necessary. 100% absolutely necessary. <clears throat> so with getting more stability, that'll help our ability to put down resistance. As you can see, it's going down now again. Of course, it helps with new systems care package, but still. And the Legion just wants everything we took from the NCR. So bad. Oh, look at that. 90% over here. Holy crud. And that's why I left it for no occupation. I wanted it to be bad. I want the enemies to see, hey, 
don't come in here. Seriously, don't don't come in. I mean, they can deal with it probably. Rats. Oh, the Legion marches. The Great Bear of the West is dead, and now the Legion turns to clean up its flank. The only significant mem remaining foe of the Legion are the United States, but many fear that it will fall like so many others before Kaza. Somebody should stop them. So now we got to save our money, too. After reviving the Fed. Ah, uh, Fed. Yeah. Hmm. Do we like the Fed here? Hmm. It has its uses. Up next, Chamber of Commerce might not be bad. Actually, Chamber of Commerce, is that one for this one? Yeah, we need to get rid of the Chamber of Commerce as well. Trade tariffs, huh? Wait, free trade, trade tariffs. Wait, what? They go they go to War of the Sorrows. Obviously, we're not going to give them the stuff that they want. Um, I do want to go outside volunteers, but of all City University School of Law. The first class of the Vault City is graduating, and this includes the first crop of lawyers to be professionally trained since the bomb fell. Although some are already filing lawsuits on behalf of caravan companies, manipulating the bottle caps futures markets, and have couriers deliver cease and desist orders to rival gun runners, there is an upside. Some of these students want to join the reunited States government, while others are representing the neediest citizens of court. Given the Enclave's origins in the pre-war law firms, it's kind of touching. Maybe the reform path was a mistake. Yeah, it hurts your stability, but we've got a lot more PP now, so let's go here. Any more non core manpower, probably? Ah, honestly, no, we don't. No, we don't. We really don't. Mmm. We'll go with quality. It's fine. And actually, since we're here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this one. You guys, you guys recommended this at the end of like the last episode, or the first episode, so we're gonna need it anyways. So to this one, uh, ooh, no, we have to go hearts and minds. We really do need to go hearts and minds next. As much as I want to do that one. Hearts and Minds, I think, is a little bit more important because there's going to be a potential for FEV to spread, and we can't have that. Oh, the new economic policy, but let's do this one. Hearts and Minds. We cannot rule the country without the hearts and minds of its many citizens. Let us utilize radio and TV to win their hearts and revive the educational system to gain their minds. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some more, uh, more horsepower, too, but the new economic policy. <laughs> Now that we've established a Federal Reserve, there's some debate about the NCRs, or New California's currency. If we declare the NCR dollar to be worthless, we can bankrupt some of our greatest foes and distribute their assets to the enclave's friends and comrades. Or we can allow people to convert their NCR currency into American dollars, ensuring an orderly transition. Ban it. Or allow for an orderly conversion, uh, currency conversion. I like the US dollar, I really like that one, but we're not going autocracy this time. We'll go with accept the NCR dollar, more democracy, oligarchy, political power, and legitimacy, so... And so this one, we'll go from worthless currency. Where's where is the worthless currency here? California resistance is not good. Yeah, war goes way down. We gotta get rid of that one too. Uh, New world tunes, not bad. Oh wait, worthless. Oh, it's down here. Worthless wages. Yeah. Okay, that looks so much better. Yeah, let's do that one. Except the NCR dollar. So there you go. Given that the New California is the motor of the wasteland's economy, we can peg the NCR dollar to the U.S. dollar. Peg it, huh? All right. Well, we're pegging here, I guess. So this is not too bad either. Peace key. Oh. Oh, crap. No, we lost that weekly stability. Ah! Oh, it's because we have less than 50%. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, then. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Irrigation. Ir nice. Oh, we can go to civilian economy. Yes, please. Yes. 5% more consumer goods. Can we actually build something here? Oh, we still can't build anything. Uh, I'm halfway tempted to get rid of uh, Arcade Ganon. Just because consumer goods is really bad for us right now. But hey, at least we're here. At least we got to civilian economy. We need more war sport, though. That's going to be a problem. Uh, that helps us with war sport. Over here, I'll probably go defense. Actually, as you see, they're still justifying on us. But they already demanded our territory, so... They should probably go to war with us whenever they really want. we got 10 days left. That's so bad. So bad. Hearts and minds, and then we'll do Chamber of Commerce. Oh, even though we could... Uh, we really need to do this one, too. Yesterday's enemies, just so we get some more war sport first. Although many in California hate the Enclave, we can take steps to pardon those who do not take up arms against the Enclave, and woo some of the old regimes to our cause. For as Lincoln said, do, not, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? We get more political power, stability, which would be great. Non-core manpower to get all the bonuses back. For the most part, not all of them, but it's getting better. Hey, it's not over 20,000, which is better. And that's not too bad either. It was minus 1,400, but still not great, as you can see. Oh, why are you training? Stop training. Yeah, that's really bad. But as long as they don't get pierced, that's, that's the most important thing. They probably will, but still. Hey, more stability, great. Yesterday's enemies. Um, actually, no. They're not at war with us yet. We need vaccines eventually. I'm gonna go this way first. 
Got lots of stuff going down in post-apocalyptia these days. Here's some of the latest news. Because I want to get down, as you guys recommended, don't do propaganda broadcasts and don't do military education as much as I want to. We got to go down entertainment broadcasts because it gives us more political power, which isn't bad. We get better consumer goods, which is we need immediately. And we get more compliance growth speed. So, which is extremely important right now. Time to play some new songs because we heard Jenny Cash quite enough. And, luckily this time, for the, as I'm showing you on screen, the Legion isn't going to war with us yet. They'll probably go to war with us at pretty much any time. Um, they have the Sorrows too, but yeah. Always having the uh, shadow or the pressure of the Legion wanting to kill you doesn't always feel good. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, there go the Sorrows. Okay, now, are we screwed? I hope not. Okay, compliance or resistance is going down. Put 100% in the Shi territory. Um, honestly, let's see. You know, compliance is stuck. Honestly, I don't understand that. Like, it's no occupation. Why is compliance not going down? I don't understand that. Because I, I want to boost it, boost it up. Oh. Imperial Mexicano. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck down there. And now we're going to grab this one. Okay, so now they're going to go to war with Tohono Nation. Alright, well, that's fine with us. Guerrilla Tactics, nice. Get some more organization for the infantry, definitely. Alright, good luck. Oh, we can do that stuff too. Yeah, this is what we need propaganda broadcast for as well. That'll be good. Sounds Conspiracy Theorists. Prerequisites, less than 50% stability. Oh, that sucks. What is it, Alex Jones here or something? Currently justifying a war. Promote our agenda. <clears throat> Recruitment drive. No, no, no. Stop and die, young stumpy, stumpy, stumpy. Yeah, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. That happens every campaign. So restart the movie industry would be actually really nice. We need more weekly stability. Nucleland's opening date. After year of construction, Nucleland has opened to rave reviews and would be crushing competition if there were any other theme park in the waste. Casualties from the Deathclaw Petting Zoo are within acceptable parameters, and the haunted house's feral ghouls provide excellent paramilitary training. And the rocket roller coaster is fun. For one brief day, American citizens get a taste of what our nation will be like when we finish rebuilding. Just obey park security. Cutting in line has unpleasant consequences. Get more legitimacy and more stability. Great. Look at that. 86% already. Nice. Let's stop focusing so much on this page. Uh, we can get over here, but we'll get there when we get some more uh, focuses done. Uh, we'll get that one too. Why not? Cool. Not bad. 65% stability. Not bad. Ooh. Use this as a secure package. Yes, please. And we'll build a lot of infrastructure later on. Like, honestly, right now, we're at, we're doing quite well in terms of uh, uh, legitimacy. So, not too worried about it right now. Uh, obviously, we need more compliance here. We just need more. Is it going up at all? It is. Well, 0.5. Or 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.45, whatever it is. Not bad. So, this page is done for now. We'll do some cybernetics later on. Um, this one's okay to do. It's not really super important, but that's a fine. It's fine, fine, fine. Improve working conditions. We could do that, but eh, we're kind of okay right now, actually. All right, so... After experimental broadcast, Raider Attack, Raider Attacks have been part of the daily horrors in the Wasteland of Life. For many towns on the border of our controlled territory, this has not changed. <clears throat> Recently, another report has come in about a small town ravaged by a Raider Gang, but this time we have a solid lead on the location of the perpetrators. Those responsible will be brought to justice. Kill them all and let God sort it out. I like that one. Firebomb them. But we do want more legitimacy. Go on and make as many arrests as possible. Cool. And yesterday's enemies. Uh, under the First Amendment. Eh, First Amendment. That's cool and all sometimes. Hmm. Just in case, we're going to grab vaccinations first, probably. Vaccinations, the administration of antigenetic material, a vaccine, to stimulate an individual's immune system to develop adaptive immunity to a pathogen. We need, and we'll do this one next, because vaccines, because I don't want to deal with the FEV virus. I don't. Hey, we're actually building something here. It's going to take us two years to get something done, but that's okay. Actually, do we need to put any, I don't think we need to put anything else here. Um, and none of this other stuff has been built yet. Resistance will continue to go down. Uh, guns will actually be not too bad. Power armor's a four day. That's not bad. And you know what? The Legion still has a gun to war with us. So they must see how bad it is down here. And they don't want to... Oh, also I gave territory to the Desert Rangers. Because I, I knew we wouldn't be able to hold this anyway. So I was figuring I'd just give it back to the Desert Rangers. And apparently Vulpus demanded it from these guys. So go figure. Oh, I can't come here yet. 15%. Uh. Archer Jordan is always nice to get though. Ship designer... Yeah, I don't like these penalties, so we'll go with you. We got enough PP for now. I don't really care. I'm, I've never gone to lifetime pensions. It doesn't really seem really useful. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys ever use lifetime pensions? It just doesn't seem like it's 
worth it. Cap's expenses goes ways up. I mean, yeah, it's good for Special Forces cap, but still. Alright, NCR, Vault. Well, we got a lot of money, at least a good amount. We're still assimilating a lot of people. Um, we've assimilated 42,000 people so far in the game. It's kind of cuts. Nuts. So, great, great, great. And now let's come back. Oh, I want to do that one. Let's get some more support. So, let's do this one first. Reluctance to serve. Get at least 15%. Well, actually, 15% more uh, war support is pretty nice. Chain choir. Very cool. Very cool. Actually, we're still doing this stuff. Oh, we need dynamite. And we need what? Suicide pills, as I always say. Suicide pills. Kind of yummy. Kind of yummy. Yum, yum. Oh, that's not good. Free press. Oh, segregationist propaganda. I love segregation. Oh, we always see these guys here, too. Michael Schultz. Huh. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Close air support attack, defensive agility with gunships. That's just... That's just extreme, man. That's just really extreme. And that's why we like it. Cool. Whispers of hope. Despite our current precarious position, there are those who are taken to our American dream. Whispers of a new dawn are spoken when no one's here loyal are in the room. Stories of a president who can sway even his bitter enemies with words and is and is incorruptible soul. Ask not what your government can do for you. I need you for the US Army. We got 93,000 manpower. No way, man. Stability and PP. So does we'll do Chamber of Commerce next. Um the Chamber of Commerce can provide trade and economic development, tying the American economy together. Which would be nice. Actually coming down here would be really good to get done first, so. And I always forget. Oh, focusing arrays. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Oh, grab some of that too. More land attack would be very beneficial. Ooh, assimilation drive. I mean, we're already looking pretty good, I'll be honest. So, don't even think about that stuff. So. Legion still marches. Let them march, 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 march until they want to kill us. Retool machinery. Um, yeah, no. Consumer goods hurts us quite badly. Hey, we're at three now. November now. We'll have one done. We can course something else. Yesterday's enemies. Yeah, I always forget this. I mean, it's 100 army XP. I mean, we'll get it done. When we go to war with uh, the Legion, probably. But so, 91% legitimacy. That's pretty nice. That's pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Platoon training is very good as well. Let's grab this one. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, anything else up here? Uh, infantry recovery, might as well. Alright, so I'll do this one. Uh, who do we need? We need Lieutenant Colius. But that does hurt our consumer goods, so I'm not gonna do that one yet. Free bottle caps under the First Amendment. A nation reborn. Department of Education. No, that hurts the consumer goods. And now they're gonna attack sleepers. Actually, that's fine with me. Make them a huge. The reunited states. Oh, that's fine. I don't really care. Business, NCR leadership, brotherhood leadership, brotherhood scholars. Here's a population, or, you know, critical population. But we have 100,000. Don't really care. Ruling California. Reluctance to serve. How bad is that one right now? Eh, it's not great. Actually, getting rid of that one right now could be really good. Just because we get more war support immediately. And we can use that to get some more consumer goods. So we'll probably do that one next. So, NCR leadership. With malice towards none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives to us, gives us to see the right, let us strive on and finish the work we are in, and bind up the nation's wounds. Or not. <laughs> or not. So, cool. All right, eight. Look at that. Beautiful. We're up to June. We'll have it done in June. Great. Um, let's see. Yeah. Another comment was, the Enclave is here to liberate you. Do not resist. Someone recommends we train even more auxiliaries, which we could. And someone wants me to try out a new sub mod for TNO, the second West Russian War. I was kind of actually looking at that one. And uh, I think I have to play as a Russian Unifier first to get that one done, so. Oh, look at this. Again? Oh, yeah, why not? Great. Oh, we can go straight to free trade and export. Um, Construction speed, resources. I mean, we're in California. We don't have enough resources anyways. We need the energy, though. We really do. So I think, well, I'd love to come here first, but... Free trade is nice. I think we'll just go export focus for now. So that actually should help us build a little bit faster. Oh, we lost some civvies. Oh, a little slower, whatever. And reluctance to serve needs to go bye bye. And see our leadership. All of our enemies are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What a part, uh, assimilation where free men shall stand. What happens if we don't? I don't remember if we don't take this one. The tyrants of the waste have closed ranks against America. We must prepare for the war that is surely coming our way. Restart the movie industry. Uh, the American movie industry has been long dead for a long time. Still, there are plenty of drive-in theaters that would not be too difficult to repair. I'd like to get that one done. I want to get at least one of these done first, so I'll be fine with us. Got some better planes, yes. Gun-wise, they're looking really good. Minus 5,000. Almost six pieces of Enclave Power Armor every single day. We need 25% war support. Yeah, getting a little bit more war support. We actually might, we might be able to just jump up the departure mobilization anyway, so that'd be pretty good. 
we get done. So we're done down here. Over here, uh, Lynette will be nice. Dr. Henry. Oh, we need you, so. Mariposa are born. Oh, boy. A roar across the... A roar echoes across the radio. A roar from a thousand super mutants who shout as one. Thrad and the first have broken the back of the Washington Brotherhood and formed a new mutant state. New Mariposa. Innocent wastelanders are dragged to the vats or enslaved to build new war machines in the first eyes gay self. The first is a vow to retake Mariposa for the master and for the mutant kind. And we're the only ones who stand in his way. Let them face our burnished rows of steel. Hey, new Mariposa victorious. To a great surprise and horror, the new Mariposa has triumphed over the Washington Brotherhood. Even worse, so the super mutants have somehow figured out how to utilize Brotherhood technology. This is one more sign that America, know the human race, needs the Enclave. Um, you know what? As someone did say, auxiliaries, we could probably use more of you. For now. We'll see how far, how many we'll actually use. Go six. We, obviously, we don't have guns for it, but we're looking not too bad. And that power armor is coming along very nicely as well. So after this one, we're going to go and grab, incorporate the NCR army. California's men and women can, without with proper inducement or inducement, be persuaded to fight for America. Those of whom are worth saving anyway. Hmm. We have more than enough anti-tank, which is actually probably pretty good. Yeah, we don't have enough equipment or enough resources in factories. Mutants, threat, or menace. The rise of Mariposa is inflamed human super mutant relations. How can you trust a green skin when so many of them flock to new Mariposa and seek a new master? The Citizens League has demanded the government round up super mutants and remove them from the reunited states, others within New California. Remember the Constitution's promises and say that you must judge your fellow citizens by the content of the character, not the color of their skin. But what do we like judging individuals based on the color of their skin? What do we like green? Make an example out of the most unruly. Supreme Court overrules Korematsu. Well, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Marcus was born on our soil. Remember the oil rig. Across the nation, flags are half smashed today in honor of President Richardson and the brave men and women of the Enclave whose lives were taken in a tra tra tragic terrorist attack in on the U.S. government's redoubt on the Poseidon oil rig. A center of biological research and aid programs, the oil rig was cruelly destroyed by a terrorist who blew up its clean, efficient nuclear reactor. President Grant has decreed a day of remembrance day, a national holiday to mourn those among us whose lives were cruelly taken by raiders, vandals, and terrorists. This is Enclave Radio promising you that they are gone but not forgotten. A day, dark day for all of mankind. Ruling California, now that the dust r raised by the fall of the NCR is settling, the time has come to decide how to govern the newly liberated Californians. Uh, Grant C. Hayes, previous mayor of Deglo under the NCR, has asked an audience with Douglas Granite. He claims to be a descendant of the Enclave members who escaped Navarro and integrated into the NCR. Hayes believes that we should appoint him to a top position in our reconstruction authority and bar anyone who took up arms against us from office. Many of our older Enclave officers balk at the idea of working with our old enemies and demand that any NCR politicians we come across be executed. I'd love to do this one, but how about we integrate them? <clears throat> the ex-NCR leadership selected by Hayes are restored to their former positions. The few that haven't fled a long time ago, at least. Oh, come on. We lose war support. We barely have war support anyways. What? What? And Jacob Dwemer Freeman outrage. One of our commanders, Jacob Dwemer Freeman, has approached Douglas Granite personally after a recent decision to accept NCR leadership into a government. Aggravated but respected. Or respectfully, he told the president that he cannot accept working together with the people who ordered the attack on Navarro that killed his father. He has offered his resignation, feeling he can no longer perform his duties under the current administration. Accept his resignation. None of us are Americans until we all are. Oh boy, Dwemer. Ah, oh, we did it. He's convinced. Ah, oh, we got him. It appears he's retracted his resignation after being invited to a lengthy conversation about American values with the president himself. It matters not where we stood 40 years ago. Nice. Nice. Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to wait for that one, and oh, yes, please, because this is getting better or worse. Over here, it's looking it's looking great, actually. It's looking really great. So I don't mind opening this up a little bit more, maybe, to more pacification already. It's going to cost us a little bit more, but that's all right. We don't have the guns for it, but that's okay. And after we incorporate the NCR army, we'll probably go ahead and do Department of Energy. We do get sophisticated construction. I like that a lot. Ooh, civilian factory construction speed. That's not bad. It's not super mandatory yet. End of bottle caps. A nation reborn. Remove this one. Honestly, this one, it gives you more construction speed, but... There's some compliance. I don't see the point of that. Department of Education. Well, we'll probably do the business of California, the Brotherhood Leadership. Hmm. Or the United States of America, but we're not ready to go to war. Let's do the business of California. 
<clears throat> I think we read this, but California has fallen on hard times after NCR mismanagement. The Brotherhood raids and damage from stray plasma grenades. But Mayor Hades and the Enclave will make it spick and span in no time. The Gunrunners. The Gunrunners is a weapons merchant and manufacturer faction operating out of the fortress in the Boneyard. But today, it has branches in many areas, including one near the Strip in the Mojave YSM. The Gunrunners supplies only the finest hardware to the most discerning of customers, which is used to include the NCR. Most Gunrunners workshops are set up in areas that recently came under our control, unsure of the new regime's view of their business. They have ceased production temporarily. Many of them are making plans to leave and will do so soon unless we make our opinion of them clear. Which we actually have a positive amount of power armor now. And we need some more guns, but... The gun owners are recognized as a legitimate business and are allowed to continue operating as before, or all those fine guns will be safer in our hands. Forcefully close the gun owners down, confiscating as much of their stock as possible, which would be nice, but... I prefer the factory alpha. So, actually, now it's really looking pretty good. Also, I did core the area up here. I, I forgot that we need to be next to... I did core this, as you see. Um, another uh, state that's already been cored to actually get this one done. So, so we're working on Gator Ranch. We're working on Markley. We're working on uh, Gunnerson Ranch. So, all this stuff will get done eventually. So, and we're also doing Department of Manufacturing. By creating a department devoted solely to industrial growth, <clears throat> we can revive the American economy, which would be very good. Every man a car free of bottle caps... Uh, we could probably do that one, but I want to do A Nation Reborn next. Oh, The Fall of New Canaan. Oh, very cool. Very cool. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. It's Tear of the Waste. Terror of the Wastes. Oh, boy. To quote the classical musical Hamilton, we're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Reform path. We get this job done. Stripping the vaults. Huh. Rebel the fourth state's commonwealth. Pacific Northwest. Groovy. Stripping, huh? You say stripping, and I start thinking. Cool. Oh, how do we get the uh, other one done? Gunnerson, no. I mean, they're all going to get done eventually, but... No, it doesn't look like it. Gator Ranch. Those... Oh, Gunnerson Ranch is down here. There we go. Nice. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. A nation reborn. Yeah, we definitely need more divisions. Um, Empire of Saw. That's not too bad. Legion's down there as well. Uh, anything else? Uh, industry stuff, yes, please. We can do that one, but... Get some more output first. Oh, I forgot about this stuff too. Oh my goodness. Max factories in the state would be really nice. Let's come back over here and monthly population would be really nice. Oh, we get more stuff too. Permanent increase in 10% in coring cost, which honestly doesn't matter. Um, unless it requires more energy, but purification power stations get even more energy. Ooh. Conversion speed bonus, free repair. Ah, oh, that would make sense, right? HEPA 20 cartridge filters. Nice. Anything else here? Nope. Invest into military academy so we get some more army XP. We oh look at this. Rebuild Sacramento. Add to infrastructure city of angels. And irrigate California. A new day glow. Oh, let's do this one. Irrigate California. Before the Great War, California was America's gardens. The destruction of the nation's irrigation system means much of that is gone, but the United States can still rebuild it. A new day glow. Hayes was born in day glow to enclave loyalists who fled after Navarro. As such, he's got some great plans for his hometown. Helios too. Good afternoon, America. This is your president, and I want to let you know or tell you about a great new plan. You might have heard of the solar plant outside New Vegas called Helios One, but did you know it was only one of a series of plants intended to wean America off of fossil fuels before the Great War alone? New Vegas, California, and Vault City could never have duplicated it, but working together, we are building Helios Two outside of Diglo as we speak to bring clean, affordable energy to Southern California. As a new day, America, soak up the sun. This is quite fine. Ah, another power armor division. Actually, we're maxed out, so go and train them. You guys go and train too. And which we're going to throw on some um, anti-tank on them immediately. Because you never know if you might need more anti-tank. You never know. Cool. The fate of the Boneyard. Go oh, find all power ready goods. Power them. Oh, oh, that's actually really nice. You do that immediately. Oh, that's so nice. Fate of the Boneyard. L.A. was one of the greatest cities of the world before the war. The place where dreams were made. Why can't we do it again? The Boneyard seems like a graveyard that stretches for miles under the hot sun, but Americans find a way. And the Boneyard has prospered as part of the NCR. But Hayes intends to set up a Department of Public Art and Entertainment in the city to serve as the nucleus of America's entertainment industry. But as part of that development, we need to decide whether to change the city's name. Welcome to LA. The City of Angels, for those who didn't make it and those who kept trying to. Not bad. It's been called the Boneyard for over 200 years. Um, I kind of like going back to LA. It's like going back and saying, hey, we're actually rebuilding America here. So that actually makes sense to do that one. Um, at this point, how many things we got going on here? We do have a positive amount. I don't mind focusing on getting some more guys here to actually start working on... I can do that one too. It's all police force. That'll be fine. Uh, Western pacification. Let's 
Let's go with four for now. And we actually probably start doing... Oh, this is going to be really bad. A she. That'll be fine. Because now it's going to... Oh, wow. It really hurt her guns really badly. That's all right. Um, actually, if that's the case, since we're already improving ourselves here, I think I can probably just go move these guys down here now. That'll be fine. Cool. Another division. Another two divisions. Great. Rebuild Sacramento. We get no, no special things about it. Oh, Legion Marches. That's fine. I don't really care. I mean, they can still go to war with us. Don't get me wrong. They can still try to kill us off, but still. All right. And Great Khans. All right, then. The last argument of the presidents. Uh, every man of car is not too bad. Emergency labor draft. Rebuild in the Pacific Northwest. Brotherhood leadership. As a brother to steal legitimate descendants of the U.S. Army who went astray, or power armored criminals with access to some stolen technology. Opinions differ. I did say we would never work with them, so we'll see what happens. Yes, this one is very good. Uh, and come back down here. And we gotta build some more uh, power stations up too. Uh, so all that stuff is done for now. We have 96% legitimacy. We're gonna grab some of this. It's a little bit ahead of town, but I don't really care. Ah, nation are born after 200 years of chaos, depravity, and barbar barbarism. <clears throat> the American flag once more flies over this great country. Terms like enclave are quietly phased out of use as a blue enclave flags are replaced with the star spangled banners of old. There's still much work to be done and many enemies to bring to heel. But the claim of the enclave has been realized America's back. God bless the US of A. The United States is back, my friends. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. Anything else here? Organization, development. Oh, we could probably start doing this stuff too. Oh, let's do this one. Restore the songs if you want to read about that. Please go right ahead. Boom. Let's go. How much money do we have? Five. That's no, not a lot, actually. Oops. Oh, well. We've already assimilated 53,000 people. That's that's so weird. That's just so weird. All right. How much energy do we have right now? Yeah, we're going to need to make more energy stations, but it's okay for now. <clears throat> and then, Department of Education. I don't know that yet. We get cons, free of bottle caps. It's a testament to our economic prowess that commerce no longer relies on bottle caps. Very good. Up next, so all this stuff will get done around here and then do bing bong boom boom bong boom. There you go. Basic wall pumps. Let's grab some more of this. Advanced recycling. America's capital. With the restoration of America, it's time to decide where to place the capital. Some suggest we move to Shady Sands, the largest city in California, but others fear fearful of the threat of protesters and dissidents suggest we fortify Navarro. But there's a third idea. Shady Sands. New Reno will do until we free Washington. <clears throat> Please rise to the national anthem. We'll see if they if they ever get to the East Coast. Let's rule the Citadel from Navarro. Um, I'd be like I like that one if we're playing as authoritarian routes. Shady Sands is heart of New America. Technically, yes, I like Re New Reno, but until there's an East Coast, I I want to save this one for East Coast. Um, actually, do we get this as a core? No, we don't. So our capital is not even a core territory piece yet. That's weird. <laughs> that's very weird. Hey, that's okay, not too bad. Minus 4,100. We get about 50 guns a day. 50, 60. Not bad. Cool. Not too shabby. And can we record any more things else? Yes, please. 178 factories. Not enough. Not enough yet. Oh, and we can do this one too? Yes. More daily army XP. Finally. Oh, we actually made more divisions here too. Not bad. Go and train as well, everyone. If you need it. And I'll throw on generals there eventually as well, so... Not too worried about that. Mm, happy holidays. The pre-war Carol phase as President Douglas Granite comes <clears throat> on the radio. My fellow Americans, we've been through a lot in the last few years, but I think we remember for the first time in a long time what binds us together instead of what blows us apart. Whether we light a menorah, to go to church, or worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, we all base our faith in love, so for the new year, let's resolve to give, give of ourselves. To be our brother's keeper, to be our sister's keeper, to be excellent to each other. And if you do worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, please give it to us. Eid, play Christmas Roads. Please make sure your sound is on, your music is off, and have a happy holiday unless you like the Legion. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I mean, whatever. Vengeance for Navarro. The Brotherhood is clearly guilty of a range of crimes, including destruction of federal property, theft of federal property, and attacks on members of the U.S. government. But a trial for the Brotherhood can be messy, as some Americans will point out their service raiders and super mutants, and they may try to slander us with false statements about our research in Navarro. Further, given that the Brotherhood is descended from the pre-war military, we, we never actually did make an effort to cooperate. Maybe there are alternative solutions, or we could just do a show trial. Building railways in the Mojave will make them wish for a nuclear winter. Pardon all who enter who volunteer for the U.S. Army. Um, pardon all? Sure, why not? We'll try that one. And free of bottle caps. Okay, they're going to kill each other off. That's fine with us. Not bad. Um, who do we want next, actually? 
Because here we're already on partial mobile position. I'd like to go to War County, but we don't have enough War Support yet, obviously. And we got the... Oh, wow. Jim, James Big Jim Marshall. 2% of our group population. And Drummond, huh? General Drummond. That's not bad. And we, of course, have Colonel Tzu, which is actually pretty good. Colonel Royaz, which is not too bad either. But I do want to get Orion Marino, so... Why not? We'll grab him immediately. And down here, we have Julie Farkas, which is not bad. And Zachariah Rigby. That hurts the consumer goods. Grancy Hayes, of course, of course. And Alice McLafferty. She runs the Crimson Caravans, doesn't she? And Dr. Henry, which we'll probably do as well, but I don't want to lower our wars for just yet. Just yet. We have so much PP. Anything else we could do here? Um, Development projects. We're still working on that stuff. And we need the, we need this one too, so. Uh, Factory-wise, actually, military factory-wise, how are we doing? We're actually doing okay. Not too shabby, actually. Uh, guns, minus 3,100. Power armor is coming along, which is super good. Super good. Actually, would like... Do we have any... Well, hmm. We will need all these done, too, so. I'll, I'll move around some of this infrastructure stuff. We'll work on infrastructure once we're done here. But realistically, just keep building for now. That's fine. Because once we are able to core everything, we'll have more than enough factories to work with. Especially if we take stuff out, so. There you go. Very nice. Let's grab some of this. Just in case. You never know. You never know. And just go and put these all here. We'll, we'll fix everything up. I promise. The end of bottle caps. Bottle caps were an ingenious solution to the wasteland problems. How do you create a currency with no government? The original bottle caps were backed by potable water from the hub, and because the bottle caps could not re be replaced in post-war conditions, they had a fixed store value. <clears throat> but as the wasteland's economy grew, the limited size or supply of the bottle caps meant more goods were chasing less money, discouraging economic growth with a return of old glory to the wastes. The government can impose a rational currency worth whatever the government says it's worth. Is that a good thing? Eh, seems to work for now. Wait, isn't this isn't this why candy bars cost a thousand dollars before the war? Okay, not bad. We lose some stability, but get better consumer goods, which is actually very good. And last arguments of the president. Although not most nuclear missiles were used in the Great War, we've been getting some signals near Ashton that suggest some of our pre-war weapons are still around. This actually, I'll be honest, right now this is going so much better than uh like when I was trying it off screen. Holy crap! Because actually, like. Actually, I wasn't trying off-screen. I actually re was recording it. And Volpus actually did go to war with us. So, yeah. We're doing a lot better now than it was earlier. During one of his dreaded surprise inspections, Sergeant Doran cut his private out of the standard-issue power armor. The soldier cited maintenance, but no such request was filed. Doran wasted no time in demanding 1,000 push-ups as you happen by. Cut the boy some slack. Let the sergeant do his job. Cut some slack, because I want more war support. 179 jumps up to 180. Not a big jump, but hey, you know what? We'll take it. We will gladly take it. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and grab Legion Marches. Um, oh, well, that's not good for them. Whatever. Mm. Excess legitimacy converted to basic stability. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uniting the States of America. Oh, we don't really need that yet. Stripping the vaults. Uh, I, I, I do want to go to war, but... The Brotherhood Soldiers. Because you chose to integrate the leadership, you honor the legacy with the units of Brotherhood Soldiers at Victorium. Cool. Because I just want to make sure when we go to war, like, we're, we're ready to kill. Like, we are ready to go. Ooh, some of our guys are... Oh. Ah, see? God bless you. A sniffle, a sneeze, a fever. Horrible. Horrible bleeding. Since the outbreak of war with the Legion... Okay. Uh, the people of New Canaan and their tribal allies have been getting sick with a plague called the Utah Flu, which seems somehow familiar. It's not surprising that the plague broke out among a wasteland army, but it's rather surprising that it has infected Kaiser's men. Are our troops safe? I wonder if we can protect our own troops against it. Oh, the Utah Flu worsens. Mr. President, turns out the Utah flu is actually a virulent strain of FPV that Kaiser likely picked up from Enclave defectors. The Legion is employing it, or deploying it, in Utah, and offering the cure to those who submit. Hopefully our scientists can figure out a way to protect their own men, but it's hard to see how the new Canaanites will survive this disaster. What sort of monsters use bioweapons? I was going to say ask the Chinese, but let's not go there right now. Mm, do we really get affected by that? No. I don't think so. I mean, we already have. That's why I got the vaccinations already, so. We got, what, microchips. <laughs> oh, man. Because we completed a form. We'll get that one done eventually. Um, We got to get this guy, too. I don't want to hurt us too much, but we do get more stability. So, this wouldn't be too... Oh, Pilot and Myers. That's not bad. Yeah, we got to definitely choose him. I want to do the EPA stuff. But it does cost some more consumer goods. And I want to build, 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 build as fast as possible, man. Uh, oh, Lone Tree falls to the plague. 
I mean, it is what it is. It's the sins of our fathers. Straddling the border between California and the Mojave are two prosperous trading towns, Ashton and Hopeville. These small towns have boomed in recent years thanks to our civilization's recovery, and we were already or were already on our list of deliberate to li simplify logistics, if nothing else. But recently, we picked up some sort of signals from pre-war military bases in the region. Since the area was home to ICBM bases before the war, we should secure the towns and investigate. ICBMs, you say? Uh, uniting the States of America. With the control of California and Nevada, we can make... Begin the hard work of freeing the rest of our great nation, and perhaps some others. All good, Murphy. Swords, plowshares, eh. Organi this stuff is not too bad. Christopher Wright's still here. Wade Wall. After this one, let's go in and do... We'll probably do the Ganon Doctrine. So, yeah, that makes... Well, hmm. Teach raiders and tribals that freedom is a sovereign right of every wastelander. The Ganon Doctrine. Reunited States. I mean, technically, we're trying to get that one, so... Yeah, membership in the United States in exchange for aid and protection is worth a shot. We could try that one. One of the enclave theorists, a scholar of outmoded pre-war governments, has suggested that the reunited States government would be best served by extending a helping hand to the settlements of the Waste, offering membership in the reunited States in exchange for aid and protection. It's worth a shot. We'll see what happens. Why not? Vault recycling methods? Why not? Good, good, good. Keep building. One, two, three is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Actually, how many goods do we have? We actually have... Uh... 300 some. We can go ahead and throw another one on here too. There you go. Ah, screwed. All you guys do this one. There you go. That That's going to cost a lot of guns. Wow, that's a lot of guns, but that's alright. We're slowly working through all this stuff, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm sorry for no war so far in this episode. It's just because this is the episode that we have to focus on building ourselves up again. We have a lot of power armor. Go down to two, maybe. We just need more resources and stuff like that. As well. Hmm. Hey, but not bad, though. What, what are we missing here? Is it because it's, um... The... Uh, it's cap, cap, cap. I could not remember the word cap. One seventy-seven. Is it going to jump up or down? Yes, please. Yes, please. How much money do we have now? 800, that's not too bad. 180s again. 1, 2, 3. Not bad. 42% stability. 42% force part, I mean. Um, yeah, those guys are okay. So after this, oppose Mexican Titans. Mexican resistance is trapped in the image itself, seeking allies. Defeat the Axis of Evil, Colorado Line. We probably want to do that one pretty quickly, so. Defeat the Axis of Evil. The Broken Coast, the Washington Brotherhood, the Legion. These three powers threaten to enslave the Waste, and with the collapse of the NCR, only the Enclave are capable of protecting democracy. Time to show them that freedom is, is always worth fighting for. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Impressive indeed. The NBC officers will be ple pleased of the efficiency of their soldiers. Supreme Court hears case on Ghoul Pride Parade. With the integration of ghouls into the Great Experiment, more and more ghouls have moved to Vault City. Their pre-war skills commanding high salaries in rapid boom town, but they face rampant discrimination from some of their older citizens and they wish to hold a protest. The ghouls seek to hold a ghoul pride parade, celebrating the contributions to American society and demanding equal treatment. Vault City promptly denied their permit and now the ghouls have brought suit. Although Mary Lynette claims that denial merely reflects a Vault City preference against large parties, the denial clearly reflects discriminatory intent. How the Supreme Court rules will affect how this court will view ghoul rights in future cases. Why would anyone feel pride in being a ghoul? They got more to be proud of than you, Lynette. Eh, yeah, we're kind of forced to go that way, so. Two, automated harvesting, more max factories in the state, yes please. Oh, we're actually building some civvies too, nice. Power them all up if you can. Trade, oh, actually since we're here, let's go ahead and do, um, executive orders are nice. Circle Junction, that's fine, develop, develop projects. First, solar stockpiles, yes please. Hey, more divisions, nice. Actually, you guys go over there, give me one of you guys to go over there though. At this point, I'm just kind of tempted to just shove a lot of guys. Or just start just doing this stuff here. I still could take more stuff, but still. The Ganon Doctrine and defeat the Axis of Evil. Because I do want to get down to the Colorado line. Seeking allies, negotiate a group trade, no. Brother to steal, they're already dead. Yeah, they're actually all dead. <laughs> um, how about stripping the vaults? Let's do that one next. As we reclaim America, there's a great deal we can gain from the pre-war vaults. And we can use them for their original purposes. I just want to make sure that, actually... Uh, we will have to take out the Legion. <sighs> is it better to take out New Mariposa first or the Legion? Because New Mariposa is not going to be easy. That's a lot of manpower. They have a lot of divisions. We need to get way more divisions first, probably. Honestly. Yeah, we probably will. We'll give this to our uh, group here. Um, we're not even making anything here yet. We have a lot of things to rebuild still. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. Go and do that one. That's fine. Build, 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 build. Spoiler, a follower expedition to Cyclops. Alright. Well, we can do that one. Some proper encouragement that can take up a proper way of life. The Cyclops? Sure, why not? And Pale Folk? We'll see. That wouldn't be too bad. Go and do that too. Political. Are there anything else for political action? We can still ban them now. It's not worth it. Some more daily army XP as well. That's going to take 100 days. Wow, that's quite a bit. Alright, well, not too bad. And gun wise, how are we doing? Minus 26. Not bad. We have 189 factories. We will defeat the Axis of Evil. And we'll be stripping the vaults. Right, that's what we wanted, right? As we claim America, there's a great deal we can gain from the pre war vaults. And we can use them for the original purposes, too. Positive amount of guns. Not bad. 1,400 extra things of power armor, which is pretty good. And. Fund the col colleges of the followers. Which I did get. Well, I did get rid of them. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Like, you should be able to get them back later on. Like, sure. I mean, we were the Enclave, and we didn't really want them around. But now that we've kind of reformed ourselves, because it doesn't make sense early on to get them, but now it makes more sense to get them. So I might just use console commands to get them, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It just... You should be able to ask them to come back later on. But the Colorado line. Let's see how the Legion fares against the defenses inspired by the Anchorage Reclamation. This isn't war. This is pest control. Of course, why not? Yeah, because you should be able to invite them back, especially if you change leadership or if you have a change of mind or heart. I understand why you can't do it, but still. War sport goes down. Yeah, we're not doing one yet. Nope, nope, nope. So we're going to spend stuff here. Honestly, 50% attack. I mean, I've got to go with more attack here, right? It, that's just too good to pass up. Chief of the Navy, decisive battle. Yeah. Air Force. Um, obviously, we've got to go this guy. Just a little bit headed down, but I don't really care. Cool, stripping the vaults. Strip, strip. Colorado line. This is one I almost never take, but that's why I want to do it. Living better above ground. The vaults were not designed to save anybody. They were designed for the American eternity to, to... Oh, look at that. To lead this world in surviving on desolate planets. Many vaults are failing after some 200 years, but there's still plenty of industrial gear we can refurbish and maintain, but some scientists have suggested we can always do more research. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. We can put those fusion plants in our cities. Oh, that's not bad. We'll get enough resources hopefully eventually... Uh, but we will finish research eventually, too. Uh, knowledge. Fusion plants. Uh, I think I'm going to go fusion plants. Because we're going to help the people out now. Joshua Graham enlists. Although New Canaan has fallen. Some of the leaders have survived and made their way to America. Among the most noteworthy is Joshua Graham, one of the Legion's founders. Graham seeks vengeance against the Legion for its treatment of, Mo of the Mormons. And will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit against our enemies until he stands before his Lord for judgment. Killing our enemies is just a chore like any other. Great! Followed up with Combat Legion Propaganda, not yet Free Cascadia, opposed Mexican Titans. Before the Great War, America often intervened to protect those peoples in Mexico. Now that they are threatened by rogue AIs and drug cartels, perhaps we should do it again? Oh, we got him! Look at that! We straight up just got him! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I thought we did. I, I didn't see that, but okay. Cool, whatever. We'll see. Maybe we'll get him. That'd be really great. Actually, does it help if we encourage uh, relations? Oh, we can't. Do defense, decisions, and focuses. Okay, well, the one time I actually remember to do that, we can't do it. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to get attacked anymore, so we can put some guys over here. And we've got Ulysses, which is pretty good, so I'm going to do that one. Um, you will be led by someone. I want to save this one for the next thing of power armor. Look at that. Demoted. Wow. Major General Grimm, that's pretty bad. Uh, Alexander. Let's go with Alexander there. Oh, oh, that's right. Old World Blues only lets you go up to 20. I forgot about that. And you can go up to... Harem Sheridan. Actually, can you do anything here yet? No, we cannot. Might as well, right? I mean, 96% legitimacy is pretty good, not gonna lie. New system skip package, help everyone's out. How many guns do we have? A thousand? Well, let's keep moving on down then. Classification. Colorado line, nice. And I think it was a post Mexican Titans. There you go. Cool. Don't want to forget these guys too. It's gonna be a huge effort, but right now I think we can probably go ahead and do this. I will do the Brotherhood, the former Brotherhood territories. All right, let's come back up here. So, you guys, good luck with some pacification. Yes. No occupation for the Boneyard, the Divide, stuff like this. Um, New California is not too bad. Western pacification will do all this as well. 
And Mojave Raiders are not too bad. How many guns do we got now? Oh, casualty 15,000. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it's alright, though. Pressure them economically? Yes. With the aid of the followers' influence, the Cyclops tribes are adopting uh, crop rotation, liter literacy, and the basics of civilization. We can now persuade the elite to sell some of the land they don't need to hungry settlers from California and Nevada and create favorable economic deals. Everyone will benefit from this. This is kind of a slower way of getting people in with us, so it's not too bad. Second Massacre of Bitter Springs. Well, we're not the ones who did it, so we're okay. Great Cons were annexed. Great. That's looking a lot better. We got plenty of power armor, too. Close Mexican Titans. Well, manufacturing equipment and stuff. Very good. Anything up here yet? Nope. Come down here and grab some of this stuff, because we're going to need it. Up next, Free Cascadia Seeking Allies. We aren't the only power opposed to the NCR. To the east comes a fool who dreams of reviving the Roman Empire. To the south lies another legacy of the Old Roar. Mr. House in New Vegas. And then there's a Brotherhood of Steel, who have no love for the NCR us. Perhaps the enemy of our enemy can be our... Not enemy? For now. They're all going to be our enemy. Let's be real. Lynette criticizes support from Mexico. Some of America's citizens are unhappy that a nation exhausted and bloody by war is spending time to help its neighbor to the south. Mayor Lynette is among the leading critics of the efforts. Today she gave a calm, dispassionate speech on the read about calculus of compassion. We're not a rich land. From er for every shipment we send to help the people who wash up in Baja, we take food from our children. We take a gun from the soldiers who stand against the Legion. Nobody wants to see them suffer, but we must choose wisely. Do some survive or none of us? We must do all of our part. I suppose we don't encourage this. Mexico's resistance will decline in light of American indifference. Give a counter speech. These people ask not what this country can do for them, but what they can do for it to make this refuge the greatest home of freedom in history. And I'll do that one because I can. And stimulus, don't really care. Seeking allies. And then we will go ahead and do open for business. Yes. As we expand control over the United States, some have suggested reopening at RubCon. Rob, go in Baltic for the business once again. Obviously. Oh, power surge detected. Um, obviously, we won't be mass producing robots for a while, but maybe we can give the farmers some mechanical harvesters. Very good. It's a little bit ahead of time we can do that one. Gun wise, I mean, it's only minus 1,000. Actually, anti tank is looking really bad right now, so we need to focus that as well. So, Gene Crop Renos. Keep getting all the stuff down here. We need them. There you go. Uh, I don't want to lower you by five yet. Can we actually core anything else yet? Probably not. Oh, look at this. Down Mexico way. Sent an expeditionary force. Although we lack the ability to fight Mexico's oppressors just yet, Mexico's people will still welcome our assistance against Santa Ana. Approach the Baron. The Baron may be a son of a gun, but daily he'll be our son of a gun. And I'm so, so sick of Nuka Cola. Oh, we'll try that one. Cafe Americano. Jose Lozada welcomes the American delegates with cautious warmth and are willing to give granite credit for setting ghouls to treat him with. To oppose Santa Ana would require a great deal of support from America, which is perhaps so near to God, but so, so far from Mexico. Jose Lozada smiles at the shafts and servants pour iced coffees for the distinguished guests. We're always looking for new markets, perhaps, in exchange for an alliance against the general. You will welcome coffee with your nation? We will not treat with drug lords. The people of Mexico will respect that. We do not stand with the cartels and barons to oppress them, but the baron makes more other options. Regulated access to the American market is better than drugs. Available because you accept a ghouls and granite silver tongue can explain cost-benefit analysis. He's our son of a gun? The Baron sipped his coffee, tapping his fingers to some imagined rhythm. I'll work with America, fair enough, but you're going to have to pay it off. If you want American troops protecting my borders, I'll an out or I'll bend the knee to Santa Ana. I'd rather lose my freedom than my head. Santa Ana's clerks draft an elaborate treaty and bring it before the di American diplomats. Costa Cafenado will ally with the United States, but only if America agrees to send forces to protect Costa Cafenado. Wait, this isn't how our alliances work. American seal will keep the general away. A time crisis to get troops to Costa Ca Oh, crap. Oh boy, I didn't realize that. Oh, my, my bad. I mean, that will give us some action, which I do like. Join the PAA. A Maximilian's recognize that it's better for us to all hang together than hang separately. Viva Mexico. Viva los Estados Unidos. Approach the Baron. Oh, crap. I mean, Santa Ana is still kicking and alive, but still. Um... I've never done that one, I think. Refugees? I don't mind sending some guys down. Maybe we'll send like a small detachment. Actually, I want to select all of you guys. We definitely need to get more power armor, too. Um, I'll send two just in case first. You can be led by Joshua Gra Graham. Well, we can't even send him down there, but... Let's send you guys over to the port first. Ah, at least the United States is reborn. That's nice. It's beautiful, actually. Navarro. Go to Navarro first. How many guns are we out? 10,000? That's really not good. Seeking allies. And open for business next. Very good. 
Because next episode, we're going to be going into a lot of war. We're going to kill the Legion next time. Oh, if you're wondering about this, please go right ahead. Cool. Actually, how much longer do we have to wait? Or how many days? Oh, we don't have that much longer. Okay. <clears throat> Democracy, weakness, or strength? Restart the movie industry. Oh, well, honestly, we could probably start doing that now. Let's do that one now. Fun the Baron. Oh, wait, what? Approach the Baron. The PAA. 80s declared war on those. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Holy bad words. Yeah, honestly, I think we might need to go to war with the Legion very soon. Phantasma Cartel. Jungle Pack. What is PAA? There's uh, Daughters of Akate. Akate? Um, yeah, we probably need to start going to war with them soon. Uh, we honestly don't have the guns, though, for it. Mm. So, we have to go to war with the Legion. <clears throat> actually, that's really bad right now. We need to go to war with them now, because if we don't, we'll have a... M actually, we won't have a massive border with them. Um, okay. Hmm. Because if, if these guys die, we can take this area out pretty easily. Honestly, we have... Down here. One, two. And then all this. It's pretty darn risky, but we could probably manage. We're trying to build everything up here anyways. Bodega? That's not bad. Um, I'm just thinking we might want to just go to no occupation. Or get rid of that one. NCR. Let's go. Let's do it. We don't have the guns for it, but... Minus 36... 37,000. That's just so ungodly huge. What are the penalties for... Not selecting uh, the stuff there. I'll get awareness. Recon. We, actually, recon's really good right now because we have. Uh, we want principle, not purity. Anything else here? I might just save it for land traits. Yeah, probably just save it for land traits. Cool attack and defense. Idiot savant. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll save it. We'll save it. It's fine. That's good. Doing opening for business, which is nice. Vault healthcare is very good. We like healthcare. Well, if you can afford it. Yeah, this is weird. Protect the Baron. Unless we guard the Baron's borders, he will affect the Santa Ana. Why are we helping him again? Because it just goes away for now, which is fine with us. The PAA. Hang all together. It's not a puppet of Mexico. Cool. Um, honestly, I don't know. What's the PAA? Oh, the reclam Reclamation Zone. Surprise. Support the opponents of Santa Ana by providing them with anomaly independent territory from which to harass the general better than them than us. Owens, where's that one? We gotta kill these guys off then. Yeah, these guys are all central and land. Um, how is this looking? Minus 33,000. That's actually not really that bad. That's really not bad. Where are you guys at? You guys over there. You guys over here. Um, actually, it's better to do it over here for now. I'll help lower this first. I don't want to do any other ones yet. We're probably going to see what the thing is when it's done. Uh, power armor. Oh, we're actually okay. We're okay for that right now. We're, we don't need to do that one. The greatest power in the wastes. Uh, Desert, Desert Rangers War with Brotherhood? Well, I mean, we can't really do that one, so... Operation Brutus. Why not? The ra Legion's ramshackle state was built over the last few decades through ruthless expansion, but Kaiser hasn't had time to give it a lesson government, and won't if we succeed. And we'll also talk about the greatest power in the Wastes. The NCR and the Brotherhood are the most powerful group to the Wastes, but there are others who strive to protect life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm sure we can find use for them, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will have a ton of wars to fight, and hopefully win them. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.